What's up guys, John here with Team Legit. Last week I gave you guys a quick review and a quick look at the Laser Brushes Gimbal 2.4 gigahertz Dominator module. And uh, today I'm actually gonna do some flight footage. The day that we did test out the Dominator uh, module, I was using um, prototype antennas that were not up to spec. Today I'm using the Blue Beam antennas by IB Crazy. We all know he's the standard in antennas. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch my Legit Wing up in the air. I'm gonna have my, gear, my buddy Gary who's on the uh, uh, camera right now slip the goggles on and just kind of watch as I fly line of sight um, we'll know if the receiver module is any good you know line of sight and if it is then we'll go ahead and try it out also what I'll have Gary do is switch it out to the pepper box antenna and uh, kind of point it towards the aircraft to see if that makes a significant difference the first time we did try it out was on a multi-rotor with uh, return to home and when we were flying it out uh, I had the pepper box pointed directly at the uh, quadcopter and we were able to get about two miles but uh, let's see how it works with CP antennas I've got the DVR recording on the Fat Shark goggles, so uh, we'll get this thing in the air and get this party started. Alright Gary, let's get the goggles on. Alright, so right now I'm not getting a picture of this. Is it all just static? White and black, nothing. White and black static, okay. At all, there's no picture at all? At all. Okay. So white or black. I have a feeling that maybe the antenna came loose on that first crash. So let me go ahead and bring it in for a landing. Yeah. Oh, that thing's nice. Completely hand-built, custom-built. Beautiful. You're pretty good at this. Proud of you. Okay, the antenna came loose from the first uh, little impact. So Easy to fix. Kind of tighten that down. All right, uh, my first launch wasn't very good, so I think my antenna came loose. So I'm just tightening down the antenna. I want to give this thing a fair shot. So I'm just going to get my antenna tightened up. All right, antenna's all tightened up. Let's go ahead and launch this thing back up in the air. This is a four, this is a four foot wing that I'm launching just uh, side toss. Alright Gara, if you want, set the camera down. Or you actually give the camera to Gary and then grab the goggles. Black and white. Black and white, no image. At all. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, thread that other antenna on there that I told you about earlier. Coming in and out. So picture is okay? No. No, no good? You're gonna have to kind of keep that antenna pointed at the aircraft. Okay, that's good enough. That anten antenna is quite a bit directional, so. Is your video good? No, it's... It's not flyable? Like, you wouldn't trust flying that? It's completely black and white right now. Okay. How about now? Nope. Sakama, will you point that camera while he watches through the... Will you point that antenna while he watches through the goggles? Is this pointing the, in the right direction? Somewhat. Stand in front of you. Somewhat. Okay. Show him how he, what direction he should be holding it. He knows. It's a okay. directional antenna. Very clear. Very clear? In and out. It's clear. It's fuzzy. Completely fuzzy. And we're coming back to clear. Can't see anything now. Nothing. And we're back. Now this is on the 2.4 gigahertz band. So uh, I know there's a lot of houses around here that are pumping out Wi-Fi, but I've actually flown with 2.4 and uh, if if it's doing what you're saying it's doing, that's completely unacceptable. 
Oh, there's no way I'd fly with this. Yeah. I'm blind right now. Okay. Bar, will you pan around and show us a little that bit looks too? Good. Come out in front, yeah. So I've got Gary on the goggles, and he's watching the image while yeah. uh, Sako here is pointing the directional antenna. How's your video, Gary? Black and white fuzz. Looks like the Naughty Channel. Now it, now it looks like you're paying for the Naughty Channel. It's good now. It's clear. <laughs> and now it's gone. Okay. And we're back. All right, so it's dropping out quite a bit, and I'll have to review the DVR footage to see. But uh, based on my initial test on the quadcopter with the directional antenna, and we're out, you know, quite a bit, it was okay. Uh, but now that we're testing it out here, line of sight, it's completely unacceptable. Black and white. All right, let's go ahead and bring the aircraft in. And now it's perfectly clear, and now it's out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just the, uh, is it clear right now? Right now, gone. Okay. And clear, let me know when I'm irritating. Clear. No, that's fine. Uh, gone. Gar, will you do me a favor? You guys can turn uh, turn that off. Well, yeah. I'm gonna land it real quick, and then I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna land it, I'm gonna land the aircraft right now, and I'm gonna pop in, I'm gonna fire up my immersion duo receiver just to see if it's the module or the duo receiver or if it's the actual uh, something else so let's go ahead and land this bad boy if it'll come down I know this thing loves to float if you come in slow enough I can catch it no I don't want you to catch this thing this thing is it's kind of heavy four feet and it's got a 5,000 mil now it's clear boat. and that's what a nice landing looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and swap out the module with the Immersion Duo receiver and see if we get any better picture. All right, guys, I swapped out the uh, module out of the Dominator goggles, and we're going to try it out right now. I've got an Immersion Duo here with the CP antenna and also the Pepper Box. So this is a diversity setup, and we're hardwired directly into the goggles. So um, we're going to go ahead and launch this up in the air right now, and we're going to just kind of get some DVR footage, and I'll try to overlay the same flight pattern that we were doing with the module versus the Immersion Duo. Go ahead and fire this up. Now this is on. I'll power it up from the main lipo. So this is the same plane as yours, right? Yeah. Look at his landing here, though. All right. Yeah, image looks great. Yeah, All right, here you go. Sean, what's my voltage? 16. Okay, so we're good. All right. Let's launch this big beast again. How's the video look, Sean? Looks good. No dropouts, no glitches? Crystal clear? Yeah. All right. Do I have a, a home lock or a GPS coordinates at the top? And is my distance from home changing? It's not 9999, right? No. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and rule out that the uh, laser brushes gimbal model module definitely needs uh, to be revised. It's just not working to spec. It's not working to my standard. I'm having Sean on the goggles right now and he's not having any issues. I'm flying with the Duo. Um, yes, I am running Pepperbox with the uh, CP antenna, but either way, I did test both of them out, the CP antenna and the, uh, the Pepperbox on both the goggles and it just, it's not working to spec. So again, you guys out there uh, that got a couple of those modules, I would contact Laser Brushes Gimbal and uh, ask for a refund. All right, guys, I just got done testing out the Laser Brushless 2.4 gigahertz module that I brought to you guys last week, and um, it did not perform to spec. It was just, it was terrible. Uh, couldn't fly. I agree with most of the posts out there that it just, it's a bad module. It needs some revisions. Um, my test included changing out the antennas, also using Pepperbox antenna with the goggles and a CP antenna. Both tests resulted uh, terribly. This is a heavy Wi-Fi area. There's a lot of houses in the area, but uh, overall it did not perform to standards. Um, I then, to uh, double check to make sure it wasn't my aircraft or my setup, we switched out and plug the goggles directly into the Immersion 2.4 gigahertz duo receiver. Uh, it's diversity, so it tests out the CP and the pepper box at the same time. And image was amazing. How, how was the image, Sean? The image was clear, crystal clear. And we had range. Yeah, no, we were dropouts. probably about half a mile out and it had no dropouts and things uh, looked really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and 
uh, have you guys hold off on ordering the 2.4 gigahertz module until we get some more testing. Uh, for those guys that did pay and order the 2.4 gigahertz module in the US, uh, I am a distributor for the laser uh, brushless gimbal modules. So if you guys want, you can send them back to me after you get an RMA from laser and uh, we'll go ahead and credit you guys, laser will go ahead and credit you guys the refund. I do believe in the company and I do think they'll make the revisions just like they did with the 1.3 gigahertz module to get the product correct and get us a nice comparable 2.4 gigahertz module for your goggles. Uh, if you guys like seeing these reviews, make sure you click the like button. And if you guys want to stay up to date with all the newest products coming out, uh, don't forget to click subscribe. As usual, I'm Johnny with Team Legit. Thanks for watching. Well, today's product is the Laser Brushes Gimbal USB Composite Video Modular Receiver System. Now, this is really cool and exciting because what it basically allows you to do is plug the USB device into your computer 